County officials say the fentanyl crisis is playing a role in pedestrian fatalities and more. And that's why Pima County is spreading awareness on the dangers of giving panhandlers money. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish is live on the west side with more details on shutting down people asking for money at intersections. Gabrielle. I'm standing at the intersection of freeway and speedway. Take a look behind me. As you can see, there's a woman over there panhandling behind the cars. Now, this is one of the busiest intersections that people come to stand on medians asking for money. If you give somebody a $20 bill, you potentially just bought them 20 fentanyl pills. Just last year, pedestrian fatalities nearly doubled from people getting hit by cars. That's why Pima County and the Tucson Crime Free Coalition are joining forces to tackle the fentanyl problem along with limiting pedestrian fatalities. They are putting up signs just like this one to spread awareness to the public on how giving panhandlers money is giving some an opportunity to buy fentanyl. The purpose of these signs are to direct people to agencies, nonprofits, other treatment centers where they can give directly rather than giving to the individual on the median because it's very possible with the availability and the cheapness of fentanyl, which goes for one to three dollars a pill on the street. Well, I have rheumatoid arthritis and I've been trying to get Social Security. I don't have any, I haven't gone through yet. It's been five and a half years and I really don't have anything else to do and it helps me get money, I'm spending money and, and I have something to do. Now, there already is an ordinance in place that states that a person can only stand at the median for one light change. If an officer sees someone standing for a long period of time, they can cite them under the law. Reporting live from the West Side, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.